Simid scientists have been breeding improved maize varieties adapted to sub-Saharan Africa with high yield potential and stress tolerance. Breeding for resistance to maize lethal necrosis, MLN, is a new challenge. MLN has emerged as a major threat to maize farmers in Kenya since September 2011. A scientific team from the Kenya Agricultural Research Institute, CARI, and the CIMIT Global Maize Program joined hands to identify the disease. They identified the infection of maize plants with two viruses, maize chlorotic mortal virus and the sugarcane mosaic virus, transmitted by insect vectors. Efforts to identify maize varieties that are resistant to MLN began with close cooperation between CIMIT, CARI, and the seed sector under the Seed Trade Association of Kenya, STAC. A wide array of inbred and pre-commercial hybrids is being evaluated under natural disease pressure and artificial inoculation at two field sites in Naivasha and Narok in the Rift Valley of Kenya. To conduct artificial inoculation, inoculum of both viruses that cause MLN is generated in greenhouses and then applied to trials using motorized backpack sprayers to facilitate infection. The emergence of MLN in Kenya is of serious concern in the East African region where maize is the staple food and source of subsistence and livelihood for millions. In February 2013, scientists and key stakeholders from Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania met in Nairobi, Kenya to develop strategies for MLN management. What this meeting plans to achieve therefore are diverse objectives. The first one is of course to bring together these very, very important stakeholders from different institutions in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, understand first of all the extent of the disease uh, from those country representatives uh, and then a plan for cohesively, plan cohesively for the next steps to tackle this challenge. So this provides us first of all an opportunity to assess the severity and the extent at which this disease is occurring in these three countries. That's the number one objective. The second objective is at the scientific level more to do uh, with the uh, understanding of the epidemiology of this disease. How this disease actually happens? What exactly is the biological nature behind this disease? It's a new disease in Africa, but it is certainly not a new disease for the maize scientists. So we need to understand what are those lessons that uh, er elsewhere in the world people have learned about this disease and how to adopt this understanding in Africa. Seed company representatives, officials from the ministries of agriculture and regulatory authorities in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania, as well as experts from the U.S. participated in the meeting. The partnership between CIMIT and CARI in this uh, uh, you know, initiative is, is crucial because it is the only way we can be able to address the problem uh, because partners can mean a lot. CARI has uh, some capabilities. It has uh, facilities that can be used. It has land that can be used in launching the trials. In fact, uh, maybe two of our trials this season will definitely be on uh, on on Kari land, uh, mainly in Naivasha uh, and in another center. And uh, Simit uh, will definitely come in with the the support that we need uh, to intervene and uh, to uh, conduct these trials. The funding, the support in funds and also expertise and uh, they have also lines which they have donated for us to test in the areas that are, have been that are affected. MLN was a disease actually that caused uh, caught the government and also cases as a regulatory agency by surprise. 
This is because it's a, a disease that had not been noticed in the risk assessments. And as we came to discover later, it's also a disease that is not well known all over the world. So when it came at first, it was very difficult even to tell what it was. But uh, Kefi stepped in and uh, we took several precautionary actions as it's allowed by the International Plant Protection Convention. However, the disease causes a lot of challenges because there's very little scientific information. And most of the decisions in regulations are supposed to be science-based. And so most of the precautions we are taking, we are taking them as we are it for more scientific information, especially on the organisms that are causing the disease how they are spread, and how they can be managed. And uh, from there now we can be able to sit together maybe as stakeholders and make uh, regulations that are science-based. All partners are committed to ensuring that a lasting solution to MLN is found. The good news is that scientists are making significant progress in tackling MLN. We are seeing a range of responses under natural MLN pressure. We have tolerant material, moderate or tolerant, and then completely susceptible. Uh, we will use the moderate the tolerant and the tolerant material for further breeding work to derive uh, resistant uh, uh, hybrids to, to MLN in the region. At this stage, as you've seen, identifying those hybrids which are tolerant we know the inbred parents, we're scaling up the seed of those inbred parents. And I should think that if we can work as a team amongst all the players in this country, we can get the seed into the market within two to three seasons. And by three or four seasons time, I think we'll see a rapid change in the kinds of varieties that farmers are growing in this country, from replacing those susceptible varieties and bring into place the new tolerant and resistant varieties. So within two or three years, we should be able to get on top of this disease in a very good way. Researchers are optimistic as several elite inbred lines and pre-commercial hybrids developed under the CIMIT projects such as Drought Tolerant Maize for Africa, DTMA, Water Efficient Maize for Africa, WEMA, and Improved Maize for African Soils, IMAS, are showing resistance to MLN. This was evident when participants visited one of the screening sites in Naivasha. Plans are underway to establish a centralized MLN screening facility in Kenya that will be accessible to seed companies and national agriculture research programs in the region. <laughs> this will aid and accelerate the development and release of MLN resistant varieties to enable farmers continue maize cultivation and ensure food security without worrying about crop losses due to MLN.